Hi everyone, today's topic vitamin C, now these coronavirus pandemic situation everybody heard about vitamin C and it helps to improve our immunity. People are may know about vitamin C rich foods, these video I make you understand the vitamin C rich foods and how to get maximum vitamin C from the foods. Because lot of reasons the vitamin C is may not properly absorb in your body. Vitamin C is a crucial nutrient. But most of us don't get as much of it as we need. Why don't we and how can we get more? It also known as ascorbic acid, vitamin C is one of 39 essential nutrients without which our bodies cannot function properly. Just how essential is it? Well, without vitamin C, your bones break down, your gums bleed, your hair and teeth fall out, and, if you are deprived of it long enough, you could die of a condition called scurvy. One of the reasons that people have suboptimal levels of vitamin C is because our bodies don't produce it. So, we have to rely on diet to get sufficient amounts. Vitamin C then is considered to be an essential nutrient because without it we can die. But even if we can get it from the foods we eat, only about 18% of the orally ingested vitamin C is absorbed into our bloodstream when taken from food. The vast majority of Indians not vitamin C optimized putting them at an increased risk of cardiovascular illness, compromised immune systems, premature aging, increased stress response, and poor energy production. Benefits of Vitamin C Vitamin C is a wonder nutrient that provides numerous health benefits. It protects against cellular damage that causes you to age prematurely. It can reduce bad cholesterol, LDL, and triglycerides. Those two are high risk factors for heart disease and stroke. It improve our immunity. As our current situation the COVID-19 virus thread, vitamin C is playing the main role for our immunity. When we used regularly, it helps reduce the number of colds you get and shortens any that you do catch. It's crucial in the development of collagen, the protein that produces tighter skin and builds stronger bones. Vitamin C can reduce stress hormones like cortisol as well as inflammation markers. Vitamin C is useful in the treatment of cancer. Recommended Dietary Allowances for Vitamin C 75 mg for male and 90 mg for female, the requirement is varies according to the age for children, pregnancy, and lactating women. Regular smokers need 30 mg extra vitamin C. Next we check the sources of vitamin C. Fruits which are high vitamin C is amala that is gooseberry. Next is guava white and pink colors. Next is caronda fruit that is Indian cherry. Next one capsicum, green, red, yellow and raw mango. These all contains very high vitamin C. Lemon or lime. Ripe mango. Orange. Papaya. Sapota. Strawberry. Soursop. Mania tamarind, pumelo, zizi foos. Some leafy vegetables and vegetables are high in vitamin C. Parsley, agathai leaves, drumstick leaves, ponnagani, Brussels sprouts, amaranth leaves, drumstick, basella leaves, radish leaves, kal kal, mustard leaves, bitter gourd. Fenugreek leaves, pakshoi leaves, rumex leaves, cauliflower. When we cooking those vegetables the major part of vitamin C may lose. Vitamin C exposure to the sun, it lost during processing, storage and preparation. Oxygen and light react with vitamin C to degrade it and this is accelerated when there are high temperatures as well. It is a water soluble vitamin. When oxygen in the air reacts with vitamin C, oxidation occurs which is a chemical change that results in the breakdown of this vitamin. Various ways by which we administer fruits or leafy vegetables containing ascorbic acid decreases their ascorbic acid retention, for instance, bruising, peeling, cutting into pieces, making juices, cooking, washing in water. It exposure to air and water decreases ascorbic acid retention. Peeling apples may result in the loss of 8-25% of their ascorbic acid. It is evident that the vitamin C retention of fruits varies with the treatment but in general, 
fruits are valuable when they are used raw and have the minimum of bruising, cutting, peeling, and exposure to air. Avoid juices. When making juices and remove the fiber the vitamin C, fiber, and some other nutrient will lose. Always consume as whole fruits, cut fruits, or salads. Consuming two varied servings of fruits and in that particularly one high vitamin C content fruit in a day can provide your enough required vitamin C. Vitamin drinks and heat. Lot the food companies claims vitamin C content foods especially some juice companies. A standard hot fill process used for many well-known vitamin enhanced drinks typically heats the fluid to between 194 and 203 degrees Fahrenheit and then cools it to about 180 degrees before being transferred to a bottle in which cooling continues. The temperatures required to hot fill are widely believed to be very damaging to vitamins. So, I don't think the mentioned vitamin C is available in the particular food products. Groups at risk of vitamin C inadequacy. Smokers and passive smokers. Infants fed evaporated or boiled milk. Individuals with limited food variety. People with malabsorption and certain chronic diseases. Vitamin C and health. Due to its function as an antioxidant and its role in immune function, vitamin C has been promoted as a means to help prevent and or treat numerous health conditions and treat for coronavirus. Hope, this video is useful and thanks for watching our videos. Click the subscribe button to get the next video.